Today we're going to be demonstrating Jude views of the pelvis. Uh, the routine views will be pelvis and bilateral Jude views, both obliquities. You can do this bilaterally or you can also do it unilaterally. I'm going to demonstrate both for you. I'm not going to demonstrate the pelvis view because we've had that previously, but on your lab exam you do need to include the pelvis. So first thing we're going to do is unilateral uh, Jude views. So what we're going to have the patient do is we're going to first off, let me say we're going to use a 10 by 12, it will be lengthwise. The technique is going to be 81 kV center cell. I'm going to have a patient roll up towards your left side for me. I'm going to scoot back this way just a little. Right there, I'm going to lay back. We're going to oblique the patient 45 degrees. Got a 10 by 12. We're going to be centered to the film. Okay. And then our centering is going to be, making sure she's still, she's uh, straight. I'm going to palpate the as is. And when we're looking at the upside, we're just going to center two inches uh, inferior, two inches down from the as is. So our centering is going to be about right there. Collimation will be our borders up and down. And then you're going to have collimation here about like you do for a hip, about probably about five to six inches wide. And as far as marker placement, just going to put my marker here in the corner. Okay, technique again is 81 kV and it's center cell. Now when you're looking at this right here, uh, when you're looking at the upside, you're seeing the posterior rim uh, of acetabulum and the anterior ileoischial, ileoischial column uh, on this. We'll go over this more detail uh, during lecture. So here's when we're looking at the upside. Now instead of rotating the patient, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to look at the left side, the steering for the downside for the acetabulum. So what we're going to do now is we're going to palpate the downside uh, as is, which is right here, and we're going to go down two inches, and we're going to go from that same point two inches medial. So we're going to go two inches down, and then two inches medial to the as is. Okay. Now when you're looking at the downside, you're going to be looking at the anterior uh, rim and the posterior column. Okay. So this is how you would do a unilateral uh, views of the Judet for the Judet method. This is looking at the acetabulum is what they're looking at. Now we can also do this bilaterally. Now if you do this bilaterally, the routine views would be a pelvis and then you would do both obliques uh, looking at the downside and the upside on each view. So on this view you would be doing downside left, upside right. So we're going to switch to a 14 by 17. It will be in the film in the bucky crosswise. Okay, and then I can use my right marker on the outside and my left marker here on the inside. Now our centering is going to be two inches down again from the as is. So we're going to palpate the as is. We're going to go two inches down, and then we're going to be to the center of the oblique. We'll come to the top and look at my obliquity and see if I'm in the center of the oblique. I'm just trying to judge if I'm in the center there. I need to increase to about 44 inch SID. Give me a little bit more room on my collimation. So again, we're two inches down. I'm palpating the as is two inches down, and then we're going to be to the center of the patient. And this will show the downside left and the upside right. Okay? And then what we'll do is we'll take the sponge out, have it roll back, and I'm going to roll it toward me. Scoot away from me a little bit. Okay? Roll it back. I'm going to verify again that she is straight. Shoulder, hip, the same. Then we're going to palpate the as is again. We're going to go two inches down and again to the, the center of her oblique. I'm actually seeing a lot of light up here, so I can probably calm it in just a little bit. And then the markers are going to stay the same because this again is the left side and this is the right. So we're looking at the left up side and the down right side. Now the technique for this is going to still remain 81 kV, but the cells are going to change. So we're doing uh, we're doing both sides. So you actually change it to side cells. 
Okay, so it'll be still 81 kV, but it's side cells rather than center cells for the bilateral view. Okay, and these are our uh, views, Jude views for the acetabulum.